Jonathan Hardluck. After getting them 91 for seven, what do you say to your team following a, a result like that? Well, it's a case of we got ourselves into position and you know, should have capitalised. We obviously dropped two chances and, and gave a person like Maxwell a chance. He's going to run with it and he almost played with a bit of freedom and almost freed him up a little bit and gave a bit of momentum back to them. I thought, um, you know, spectacular innings, um, you know, world, world class innings. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we certainly helped him along the way a bit. Uh, hi, Charlie. Just uh, obviously you guys would be feeling really disappointed. You touched on it a bit there, but just taking the emotions and the results out of it, you know, what, what do you think when you see an innings like that, somebody struggling through cramp and all that well, sort yeah, of thing? Yeah, I, I just, you know, real good innings. Um, we, I always think, could we have done a, a few things slightly different, bold certain areas, you know, different bowlers here or there? Um, you know, obviously there are certain things you would like to have tried different now, but hindsight's a great thing. And, and so um, it's, it's a good lesson, I think, as well for our players. I think because, you know, this game, you take your eye off the ball just a little bit. You think, you get, you think too far ahead and you, you, you try and, um, you know, start thinking other things instead of just worrying about, you know, taking the next wicket. And um, this, this game can bite you pretty quickly. So I think, obviously, it's a disappointing loss, but I think it's an experience for, for a young side developing. This is, ex you know, these sorts of things make sure that we learn from these sorts of things and um, just how uh, cutthroat cricket is at the, at the highest level and how you need to be on your, your game, um, not, for, not for, you know, 70 overs, but for 100 overs. Jonathan, you still have a match remaining. And, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, after today's, like you said, that, you know, uh, cricket obviously is a, you know, it, this game can bite you. From here, what are the lessons that your boy should learn from here and any, any particular thing that you'd like to tell them? Because obviously these uh, defeats can be shattering, like, you know, mm -hmm. shattering the confidence. Well, that's what I said. I think we've, we've all enjoyed the, the, the victories and those sorts of things. Uh, I, I said we win as a side and make sure we lose as a side. There's no pointing fingers. There's no, um, there's no blaming. But we just look at it and say, well, and I said to them, is it, you know, as a bowler, um, w is there anything you would, would have perhaps now done differently with regards to, um, in practice, developing a different uh, delivery? Would you have perhaps bowled different balls? Um, as, as long as we sort of learn from it and see how we can get better. Um, but it is difficult to, to get over the, the fact that, you know, one player's got 200 and the rest of the team have got, you know, sort of 80, probably. Um, so, you know, that's the difficult thing to understand. And there's, um, you know, the boys are hurting and you'll be certainly wishing they could have it back. Uh, Jonathan, how happy you are with Zadran seeing? Yeah, I, I, obviously to get the first 100 and uh, to have an in-batsman in, in the last turnovers was fantastic. And we saw how we could accelerate, I think, you know, the partnership with Rashid and himself. Um, you know, sort of gave us a bit of a kick at, you know, lifted us at the end and then kicked us onto a, a defendable total. So, um, which well, should have been defendable, but um, yeah, very happy that he got 100. And, um, maybe, you know, there's times where he could maybe have accelerated a little bit quicker and, and maybe gone a bit quicker. But, you know, to get your first 100 in a World Cup, and he's, you know, he's, been, he's a fantastic player and a, a great lad. So, um, you know, really happy for him and you know, hopefully many more. So the team has a lot of youngsters, be it Zidran, Gurbaz, Noor. So what are the learnings that you would like to give to them? Because, you know, such kind of defeats sometimes take a mental toll as well because they're quite young. Mm. And uh, that's when they try to think a lot about such kind of defeats. But what kind of learnings would you like to give to them given that one important match is uh, left in this tournament ahead? Well, I, you know, I said in the, in the meeting now, I just said these, this feeling that we got in the, the feeling in the dressing room now, the feeling we have in the dressing room right now, is what should scare us about thinking too far ahead and, and, and taking an eye off the ball or, um, you know, perhaps thinking that, not, not that the game's won, but not perhaps not doing as, 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 um, as well as what got us into the position, having them seven down. Um, so, it, it, and those sorts of things, learning about, you know, they'll be able to pass us on about, you know, we obviously gave him two lives. You give any, any world-class player two lives, he's going to hurt you. So those types of things for the players coming in and the, the players, you know, developing, you know, all around the game. It's not just about bowling in the net. It's about practicing your fielding. Make sure your fielding's improving all the time. 
because this ended up costing us a game today, an important game, the fielding. So that's those little things. Those, that's a little thing everyone can learn from. So did you boys get a bit relaxed after taking that those seven wickets in a very you know difficult situation? Made it difficult for Australia. So mm -hmm. did the boys looked relaxed a bit? I don't know about relaxed. I think when obviously, uh, unfortunately, the second catch went down, everyone just seemed to sort of think, or well, you know, just waiting for him, you know, Maxwell to get out. I didn't see a lot of um, encouragement or you know people, you know, you know, geeing up each other and encouraging each other. It seemed to sort of like. Um, the attitude was a little bit, well, we're, we're just, you know, we'll hopefully we'll still win type thing. It's not a case of if, if you, when you get an opportunity against a side like Australia, you've got to grab it. They're not going to just give it to you. And you've got to take it. If you get a chance to take it, you've got to take it. And that's the type of things we'll learn from today and, then, and what we just spoke about in the dressing room. Hi, Coach. Uh, during the latter half of Maxwell's innings when he was uh, down with cramps, do you think uh, um, uh, they could have, like, your team could have, could have done things differently tactic is uh, in terms of uh, different field placements maybe uh, so that uh, uh, they could uh, like stop the singles and uh, stop the rotating of the strike maxwell was already hurting he was not able to run properly mm -hmm. uh, like uh, do you think they could have been a bit more creative on the f uh, field in terms of captaincy and tactics well he kept hitting boundaries so there's with regards to there wasn't really much singles going so we didn't have to stop the singles so um you know, I thought Cummins played well as well. So, you know, it's, I'm sure there's, there's a few things, maybe one or two things we could have done differently. But, you know, that's cricket and there's always going to be uh, things you want to have back. But he kept hitting them in the stands. So we can't put fielders in the stands. So, um, you know, I wish we could have. But, um, you know, full credit to him. The way that he played to get a you know, double hundred is, you know, phenomenal. He deserved to win the game. You get a double hundred. So, um, but certainly, yeah, there are a few things we could have done differently. Tell your bowlers to, you know, bowl to a guy like Maxi who can just sort of conjure up a shot out of nowhere, you know, yeah. uh, just reverse flick a ball and sort of... Well, yeah, it's, that's what I, I mentioned earlier, you know, could we have tried maybe wider Yorkers when he was cramping up? Could we have done things differently? I just saw the same delivery over and over again, which is... Um, yeah, but you got to you got to remember that he was hitting all, you know, guys were changing pace, he was hitting that, um, you know, spinners were bowling different lengths, he was hitting that. Um, sometimes you've got to, you know, take a cap off to a person the way that he played. Um, but he shouldn't have been allowed to play like that. We should have had him out earlier. Were you surprised with the DRS decision? Uh, yeah. Well, he was walking off, wasn't he? So uh, he didn't expect it to be going over. So, um, yeah, we 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 uh, would love that to have been hitting. Hi, coach. Uh, one match to go. Still, like you have an offside chance of making it to the semi-finals after such a defeat. Like as a coach, what it takes to lift off a team and having spent so much time with this team, how do you think they will react for the South Africa game? Um, well, and the guys have been resilient. I mean, we we lost the New Zealand game, you know, pretty heavily, and we came back and won the next game. Um, we lost the India game pretty heavily. We came back and beat England. Um, so there is evidence of us coming back. But, uh, yeah, this, this will be a difficult one to swallow. Uh, the good thing, in a way, I think, is we play quite soon. We, we travel, you know, practice and then play. It's only two days in between games for us. So uh, there's, you know, no time to mope around. We've got to pick ourselves up and learn from the experience. And, um, you know, there's, there's some great learning points for the guys going forward. Um, but, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit of a pill to swallow. Um, would sort of be, it would really be nice to sitting here with ten points, but uh, you know hopefully that's after after the South Africa game.